It happened early this morning, the result of human error, but this derailed CN, uh, C, Canadian Pacific freight train rather, is still off the tracks tonight near DuPont and Spadina. Good evening. Railway officials say the derailment happened when a freight train with two locomotives struck another CP freight train. And while they say the incident poses no threat to public safety, it's raising the issue of freight trains in the heart of the city back into focus. CTV's Tamara Cherry joins us from the scene. And Tamara, any word on how long this might take? Last check with CP Rail, they told me they did not have an estimated time for the cleanup, saying the safety was their number one priority. Well, area residents tell me the safety is also their priority, and that's why they want this rail line out of here. Residents around here are used to hearing the trains go by. We were both sleeping, my husband, I'm, we all heard this huge bang. But not like this. I felt scared, like I felt like uh, there was an earthquake kind of, because it, it was a whole other sound we were just like wow what happened it felt like my house was on top of the train tracks instead of next to the train tracks it happened just before 5 30 this morning and it was discovered that two trains going in opposite directions had sideswiped each other according to the transportation safety board of canada the eastbound cars sideswiped two locomotives that were heading west to pick up their train cp rail says there were no track mechanical or signal issues they blame human error Residents have been voicing their concerns about trains running through here for the last few years. Ever since a train hauling crude oil through Lac Megantic, Quebec, derailed, exploded and killed 47 people. We're incredibly frightened. What could have happened if dangerous goods such as oil had been on this train? What would have happened then? It's been three years since Lake Megantic and nothing has been learned. In a letter sent to the Minister of Transportation in April, Mayor John Tory and council colleagues called for more rail safety measures, expressing concern about the significant number of potentially hazardous freight trains running through this neighbourhood. We all have a voice, but how much is it heard? I'm not too sure about that. It needs to be, you know, dealt with and we need to speak about it in a very real way. This is a warning call. This is a warning that the next one could be even worse. And according to the Transportation Safety Board of Canada, there were some, quote, dangerous goods being hauled in at least one of these cars. Among those dangerous goods, non-flammable gases under pressure, compressed nitrogen, aerosol containers, wet cell batteries, and alcoholic beverages. Reporting live from the scene, I'm Tamara Cherry. Andrea, over to you. Thank you, Tamara.